Hey everyone, this is Michael Treadart, National Technology Instructor. I want to let you know about a little uh, advanced tweak that we can do to the community searches that's definitely going to help you with some SEO. So for many years, on your eEdge sites, on your pro sites, on your business suite sites, you've been able to go in and create community pages. You can see I've got McKinney, Plano, Plano Willow Bend over here. And we've also, for many years, been able to come over here, go to the buy page, run a search for McKinney, Run a search for a certain subdivision. Let me type this in here. So here's McKinney, Texas. And we're going to do a subdivision search for Ridgecrest. And we're going to hit search. And we've been able to copy this link and advertise this link, advertise it on Craigslist, uh, Facebook, hyperlink it back to your eEdge site. We've been able to do that for many years. And it's effective and it works very well. But here's a little advanced feature, and I, when I say advanced, don't get scared off by the word advanced. It's just a couple extra steps to do it. But what it's going to do is it's going to help you to get the latitude and longitude into the actual link itself, which is something that Google truly loves. So here's how we do it. So we've got our results page here. We've got three homes in Ridgecrest that are for sale right now. If we hit switch to map view, this button right up here, that's going to switch it to the map view. We still do not see the latitude and longitude in the in the link yet but come over here use the plus sign or use the minus sign to zoom in or zoom out to the area that you want do not pick up the map and move it around otherwise you lose the results so right now we have three homes if I would left click and hold on this and drag it over just a hair then I would lose those three results and it would show me everything available in that map screen so just use the plus signs and the minus signs to get what you want then if we come over here to where it says switch to list view That'll switch us back to this results page that we had previously, but the big difference is now we have the latitude and longitude up here in the URL link. Copy that link. Come over here into your eEdge account. Go to Manage eEdge Website. Go to Website, Community Served, and if we create a new community, we're going to say Add Community, and we're going to type in McKinney, and I'm just doing Ridgecrest. Now, some people do this part a little bit differently. I like to put the city and then the subdivision so we know where we're at and so consumers know where they're at as well. I'm going to put in the zip code. And if we come down here and we say view all current Ridgecrest homes for sale, I'll highlight. Actually, well, you know what? We're going to do the whole phrase. Maybe spell Ridgecrest correctly. Okay. I'm going to highlight all of that right there. Insert edit link. Paste that link in there. Target. We're going to keep it as none. We do not need to have this open up in a new window. We hit OK. We can make this bold if we want to. Add in other content, add in photos, add in whatever you want. Come down here, we can also pin this on the map. So we can move up here, find this on the map. Zoom out a little bit more here. There we go. Put it right there, we hit save. So the community page has been created. Now if we come back over here and we go to the home page, we see McKinney Ridgecrest. We click on it. The content that we added is right here. And keep in mind, the more content you add, the more information comes in. Uh, it starts to push all that information down below. So this white space would grow. You'd have photos, videos, text, everything about Ridgecrest. But when I click on this, Notice that I have the link, I have the results. It's a static link, which means the link will never change. It's dynamic data, but it has a latitude longitude in there. So that is definitely something that Google is going to like. So you can promote that link uh, on uh, Craigslist, on Facebook, on your website, pretty much wherever you want to do it. One final thing that I do want to mention to you, we did a subdivision search. Make sure that you're over here underneath website, listing search fields, 
make sure that the subdivision option is checked. Otherwise, you won't be able to do that subdivision search to begin with. So you always want to make sure that you have the correct fields chosen to run these different searches. All right. Hope this helps. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to go to michaeltrethart.com for more details. Thank you so much. Bye.